The Macon County High School Tigers gear up for their first state tournament appearance since 1986. Of course, none of these current players were alive the last time the Tigers made it all the way to the state tournament. Needless to say, this bunch of guys quite excited about making their own bit of history. The Tigers are one of only eight teams in Class 2A across Tennessee still practicing. Of course, this is all possible courtesy of the Tigers' 69-58 sectional win over Chattanooga Tyner Academy March 6th before a raucous crowd at Nero White Gymnasium. Here's a shot for three way downtown. Heston King gets the rebound under the basket with three, two, one. Tigers win! Yep. Macon County Tigers heading to the state. Just being a part of that whole experience, last time I heard the gym that loud, or even close to that loud, was whenever Kelsey Gregory and Kaylin and all them made it to their state tournament when they made their playoff push. But besides that, I mean, I've never been a part of anything that loud before. It was great, you know, um, we come out and, you know, big game, we had to win it. Uh, the, fan, the fans were, you know, best of all, that's, I feel like that's what give us the edge. You know, you come out, you know, especially coming from somewhere else and there's that many people getting that crazy and being that loud, you know, it's got to be intimidating, you know, it's got to, it had to affect the way they played and it definitely influenced the way that we played the game. The crowd was unbelievable. It really was like being in Hoosiers, you know, uh, it was so loud. Uh, our trainer, she said, don't you think they just wanted to go home the first time we scored? The place just almost blew up and, uh, you know, we got off such a good start and the, and the place was rocking. Uh, and then when they got close, the crowd just kept going and uh, the, the pep band was fantastic. Mr. Wilburn and those guys, of course, uh, Miss Law and the cheerleaders always do a great job keeping the crowd rolling. And we, uh, it, it was, you know, we, we'd wondered for 13 years, what would it be like? Could you fill this place up and make it where it was super hard on an opponent to come here and play and get us to Murfreesboro? And the answer is yes. Yes, it could happen. Great go, shot! The Tigers won't have it easy Wednesday. They draw the state's top-ranked team, 29-1 and one, Knoxville Catholic. They're a very good team. Obviously, they're number one in the state, but I believe we match up well with them. And they got a couple good players and shoot the ball pretty good, but I believe we match up well with them. Defense mostly. You know, we got to go out there and we got to play hard. We got to play physical our physical ball game. And if, if we go out and just you know shoot well, we should be able to win. They got a real good guard in Lucas Smith, who's number one. Uh, he uh, he was finished uh, second in the Mr. Basketball balloting. Averages like 18, 19 a game. It's about five or six assists. His stats are a lot like Michael Ashburn's. He just shoots more. Uh, but they've got a really nice team, big six, seven boy inside. Uh, they're big, strong. Uh, they've got a good shooter uh, on the wing also. Uh, they, they're a lot like us. You could look at them and you could say, okay, Lucas Smith, Michael Ashburn, they're number 24, Seth Carlisle. They're number 12, Cameron Welch. They're, they're number 34, Heston King, Dalton Marsh. Uh, they're 22, our Riley Phillips. And, and we have more depth. Um, so it's a good matchup for us. I mean, I don't, you never know what's going to happen when it tips up. Uh, looking at it, I think we've got a good opportunity uh, if we just go and play and remember who we are. We're, we're just like be excited, um, you know, be aggressive, be physical. Be Macon County, all right? Be the team that everybody loves. Everybody that came over here, you know, Monday night wants us to be. And uh, so I just, for us, we just want to go and play our game. Tip off Wednesday for the Tigers state quarterfinal matchup against top ranked Knoxville Catholic is set for 430. With a win, the Tigers advance to the state semifinals on Friday. Reporting from Macon County High School, Barry Hyatt, NCTV.